Good evening, and welcome to Commencement 2020. I just want to thank all of you for coming, all the parents that are here. It's great to see you. It's great to see the students back on campus, and I want to wish them a big round of applause for the class of 2020. You guys could do better than that. Come on. Big round of applause and cheers for these graduates. So we're going to begin the ceremony for this evening. And uh, once again, I just want to thank the parents for coming out. This is a beautiful scene, sitting with your graduate, and we really appreciate, appreciate you. You were their first teacher, and we forever earn your gratitude because this is truly a remarkable class, and you're, you're a great credit to all of you. So I think the graduates deserve, and the graduates should give their parents a big round of applause. So let's see the graduates giving their parents a big round of applause for all they've done to get them to this point. At this time, I ask if you would please rise for our presentation of the colors and our national anthem, which will be sung by Justin Pelez. In memory of those who are not physically with us today, but remain with us in spirit, I ask you to continue to stand. In remembrance of our own Maria Cabrera and our friends, family, and loved ones who succumbed to COVID-19 virus, we ask that you honor them by spreading kindness, compassion, and understanding as often as you can. One Bremwood, today and forever. Okay, you can stay there. In memoria 
vida de aquellos que no están físicamente con nosotros hoy, pero permanecen con nos, nosotros en espíritu, les pedimos que continúen de pie. El recuerdo de nuestra propia María Cabrera y de nuestros amigos, familiares y seres queridos que sucumbieron al virus COVID-19. Le pedimos que los hombres difundi difundiendo amabilidad, compasión y comprensión tan a menudo como sea posible. Un breve hoy y para siempre. Thank you, Ms. Felix, for that translation. You may be seated. So we're here this evening on a, a actually absolutely beautiful um, evening to celebrate your students, your graduates, our students, your graduates, and we're very proud of them. My name is John Town. I'm the proud principal of Brentwood High School, and I just want to say a few words uh, to kind of sum up our year and where we are at this point. Now, this milestone, your graduation, this milestone achievement is one in which you should find great satisfaction, especially this year, as the journey to the ceremony today has not been easy or in any way normal. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, which, is filled, which has been filled with many unforeseen challenges to you, your families, our families, and our nation, this accomplishment should fill you and your families with pride because you still fulfilled one of your goals. I hope your experiences here at Brentwood High School have included many great moments that despite the loss of such milestones, such as the prom, the spring sports season, award ceremonies, and that non-existent event I hear about every year for the senior cutout day. Despite these challenges and sacrifice your class face, you made it here today. I hope you have had many great moments that will provide you with fond memories in the years to come, as I know the faculty and administration will have some very special memories surrounding the class of 2020. Now, I know you face in many ways an uncertain future, whether that be in your pursuit of higher education, service in the military, or the workforce. Know that whatever happens, that you are prepared with the skills and character that will make all of you a success in whatever path you choose. Each of you sitting here today with your parents and a special family member, each of you is blessed with great potential. So despite everything, I want you to remain upbeat and focused, for this will ensure your positive contributions to society. Students, build upon the strong foundations that you have received here at Brentwood High School, ones of hard work, volunteering, sportsmanship, and especially in this year of the pandemic, sacrifice. Always be proud of your roots here in the truly unique and special community that is Brentwood. Now we as a school community cannot, nor should we forget what a great school year we were having before the close. Let's not forget that once again our fine arts program put on another great school musical. Our Green Machine Marching Band had a spectacular fall once again, where they garnered recognition locally and throughout New York State. Students, let's not forget, in athletics, once again, our sports teams and athletes exceeded expectations with athletes who were recognized statewide and nationally for their excellence. Our boys basketball team won another Suffolk County Championship and were co-Long Island champions once again before, before COVID cut short, what I and many were convinced was a state champion in the making. Our boys wrestling team won their league once again, and we placed wrestlers in the state tournament. Finally, our great boys soccer team won their fourth state championship this year in truly thrilling fashion. For every playoff game, they came from behind in dramatic fashion, finishing the season undefeated and ranked the number one public school in the nation. I think that deserves a big round of applause. That's quite an accomplishment. In academics, we once again excelled in research, math competitions, continued designation as an AP Honors School, showing the greatness of the community and how well-rounded the students at Brentwood High School truly are. In this class, we have students attending some of the greatest institutions of higher learning, not only in this country, but in the world. Students, I want you to remember 
that despite the fact that these are no ordinary times, we still have many members of the student body who are first generation Americans who will be basically going through many firsts. The first to graduate from American high school, the first to go on to college, and the first to obtain advanced degrees, all in pursuit of the American dream. This year, the class of 2020 are the true embodiment of strength, courage, and resilience. So be proud, hold your heads up high, and remember, we're not in this situation. We as a community and a country face, we're going through it, and this too shall pass. And I want you to remember this quote by James Baldwin, hope is invented every day. I'll repeat, hope is invented every day. And never forget that you guys are all Brentwood strong. Thank you. At this time, it's my pleasure to uh, invite up uh, Ms. Eileen Felix, who is a trustee on the Board of Education, who will complete a, um, she has sung a few words that she'd like to speak to the graduates. She's a proud a parent of a graduate. Her son graduated this morning from the high school. So without further ado, Ms. Felix. of 2020. It is such an honor for me to be here with you all celebrating this milestone. When we think about the class of 2020, the following words. Technical difficulties, sorry. When we think about the class of 2020, the following words come to mind. Resilient, brave, steadfast, and perseverance. These are all words that are used to describe a great leader, and each and every one of you embody these qualities. The last few months of your senior year has truly proven it. No one could have predicted that our lives would be turned upside down in an instant, but it happened, and you all remained resilient, brave, steadfast, and you all persevered. As you go into the world, always remember that life is filled with challenges, but it is how we meet those challenges that define us. Do as you have done. Remain resilient, brave, steadfast, and you will persevere. As future leaders, you are all destined to be. I have no doubt that you will. In closing, I ask that you all go be great. Be great at whatever it is you choose to do college, the military, or trade school. Be proud of who you are always and where you come from. And when you are being great, let them know you're from Brentwood. Congratulations to the class of 2020. So I'd like to introduce, well, before he goes off the stage, I'd like to introduce some people, some special people we have up here. We have our superintendent of schools, Mr. Richard Lozner. We have our assistant superintendent of schools for secondary, Dr. Monique garisol -Akia. We have board of education trustee, Cindy Safiri. And trustee who you just heard from is Eileen Felix. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I also want to just thank, while we have a moment, I want to thank my assistant principal. Uh, the last graduation, unfortunately, I had a little mishap, so I was a little late in making the ceremony, but Dr. Doolin over there stepped in admirably, and, uh, oh, she's over there, um, stepped in and filled in for me for that period, and I'm very grateful and thankful for that. I also want to thank all the teachers that came out this evening to assist us. Uh, with this graduation ceremony. I know you were excited to come back and see the graduates and many of the graduates were excited to see you. I also want to thank our buildings and grounds crew who got this field together and got it together after that torrential rain pour that came down. Uh, they do an amazing job all the time and I just want to thank them so much for that. Also our instructional uh, technology crew that set up all the electronics and everything here tonight so we can have this great ceremony our security crew, a lot of people make this happen, and I want to thank them all. 
So I think a big round of applause for all of them is in order. And last but not least, I really want to thank Mr. James Gessick and Ms. Judy Crawford, assistant principals at the high school. We put together this ceremony every year. Did an especially great job this year, considering how fluid our situation was and our plans were back and forth and this plan and that plan based on, remember, we're following some of the um, things put down by the governor and the Department of Health. And as we know, we're in a situation that's very fluid. And I understand that it did cause some people to have some confusion. So I appreciate your patience. But we're all here this evening at this great ceremony, and I hope that it will be as great for you as it is for us to put together. At this time, we have our two Sonnerling, our valedictorian over there, who is Darian Bermudez. Darian, if you could stand up. All right. And we have our valedictorian. I should say Dar Darian is our salutatorian, and our valedictorian is Mamuna Maula, who is going to come up here now and give her speech. She is the valedictorian, the top student in the Sonnerling Center. And she has some very inspirational words, which she will now present to you. Hello class of 2020, this is it, we made it. This day is not to mark the end of school, but rather the beginning of a new era in our lives. It is the day where we can finally, officially, stand on our own two feet and make our own individual mark in this world. We all got to this point one way or another. Guidance and support from our family, our teachers, our friends, whomever it may be, we should all take the time to give an enormous amount of thanks to them. We wouldn't be the people we are today without them. For me, personally, I want to first thank my parents. You are the only reason that I am standing here right now. Your happiness is my happiness, and I wish for nothing else in this world. Thank you for every single thing you have done for me, because that list is endless. I also want to give a huge thanks to all my teachers who have helped me along the way. Where, whenever I was in a tight spot and needed last minute help, and to those that were passionate about spreading their knowledge to others. Thank you so much for all of your efforts in helping me, helping all of us get to this point. 2020 always sounded like a cool, special number. I always felt that it was so unique to be graduating in such a year. Well, that thought has been taken to a whole other level with our current circumstances. I know it seems strange to graduate like this. The world's circumstances are almost like out of a movie. This pandemic may have the world in its clutches, but here we are. We're still here. We're still dealing with the chaos. This time in our lives will be written in the textbooks for the future generation of students to read about. We are making history, but we didn't suddenly become the resilient class that we are now. It isn't just because of the pandemic. Our performance in our 12th year of school blossomed as a result of everything we have been through in the past. Academically, the early years of our school life have all been relatively the same, a linear straight path, the same classes, the same people, the same stakes. As we got older, you may have noticed many of your friends slowly drifting away while gaining new ones as well. Entering high school allowed us to break away from that linear path and branch off into our own, crafting our own individual experience and picking up new comrades along the way. Of course, this doesn't mean the past meant nothing, Everything and everyone in our lives has had an effect on us. Each moment, each motion, each person, each decision, joyful or dark, every single thing in our lives has had an impact on who we are now. We are like clay. All of these people and moments have molded us little by little, whether it was a sharp pinch on one side or a smooth pat on another. Now it is up to us to use our tuned minds and abilities and take responsibility for this world all in our own unique way. If we acknowledge the past, we can appreciate our present and build a meaningful future. Some of you have plans set up for the rest of your life, and perhaps some of you don't know what you'll even do tomorrow. Maybe you discovered your passion when you were young, 
or as recently as this year. Maybe you still have no idea what you're into. There is nothing wrong with any of that. This is merely a stepping stone. You will always have magic and tragic moments in your life. It is up to you to shape your life and let it shape you. Class of 2020, you are amazing. We are amazing. Thank you so much for giving me and each other all of these wonderful moments that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. This may not be a normal setting, but it is undeniably unique. Let's continue to grow and enjoy the big and little moments in our lives, together or apart. Congratulations, everyone. I wish infinite luck to you all. Thank you. Great job, Mamula. And she will be attending St. John's University School of Pharmacy. And they'll be very happy and proud to have her. At this time, I'd like to recognize any students um, and any family members, but any students that are planning to join the military. Is there anyone? There has been a couple of the graduating classes. Is there anyone here planning to join the military? Okay, please stand. Please stand. That's an honor. Thank you. And any, and any family members here who are veterans, I'm the son of a proud baby veteran, so any parents that are here that are veterans, please stand as well. We'd like to recognize you. Please stand. Don't be shy. Thank you. Okay. Thought I saw somebody, but okay. We just want to thank all the students and any family members who serve our great country. At this time, I'd like to introduce um, Ms. Eileen Felix again. Are you good to Mr. Wayne Benes, who is going to do the Seal of Biliteracy presentation. Thank you. Good evening. Today is an important and emotional day for all of you and those who love you. I extend my congratulations and wish you all success and happiness. Now, I would like to recognize the 162 seniors who have been awarded the New York State Seal by Literacy. At this time, I'd like to kindly ask all the students who've earned this achievement to please stand at their seat. Anybody out there who has earned the Seal by Literacy? If you have a medal, stand up. This recognition is a prestigious award to recognize those students who have mastered listening, reading, speaking, and writing in two or more languages. Many of them began to learn English as a second language just as they entered high school, while others at an early age and now have mastered it. Not only that, but they have also maintained their first language. And others have learned Spanish, Italian, and French as a second language. Students, more than any other graduating class, you have already discovered that learning a second language is more than words. You have a set of skills to relate and connect to people and understand where they are coming from. What an honor and a gift to you, your parents, and those who will be helping you along the way, and those who you help along the way. My advice to you is as follows. Continue to learn new languages and be proud of your first one. Having an accent is, in any language defines who you are and is a sign of bravery. Remember that bilingualism is synonymous with diversity and our strength as multi-language learners comes from. You are unique, and today we celebrate you. Keep in mind that there are hundreds of languages in the world, but a smile speaks them all. Don't forget to smile. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, clap your hands for all of our students who are going to see the battle with you. Thank you. And I never tire of saying this to our superintendent, assistant superintendent. In this class this year, we had a 40% increase in that distinction, distinction. So please, please congratulate everybody on that. This is once again proving to be a great class. At this time, it's my pleasure to bring up our superintendent of schools, Mr. Richard Mosier, to give his address. Thank you, Mr. Callan. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Can we give a round of applause once again and congratulations to the class of 2020? 
Oh man, folks, we have been waiting, waiting a long time for this. So folks, we can do better than that. One more time, congratulations to the class of 2020. All right. That's it. We really want some energy here, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, it is thrilling. It is absolutely thrilling to see everyone here on the field today. We had, uh, obviously, we were unsure that this would be able to take place, and I can't tell you how grateful we are to have this opportunity to spend with you this evening so we can celebrate your sons and daughters' graduation. I have to tell you that for us, this has been uh, this has been a, a tough three months for so many reasons. I know it's been difficult for everyone, but as teachers, as administrators, the board of education, we are we get our energy from seeing the students travel the hallways, spend time in classrooms and cafeterias. We we get a charge out of seeing their smiles and seeing them grow as individuals. So we missed them terribly these last three months and we are absolutely thrilled to have you here this evening and i also want to thank the teachers i know mr carolyn did too but i want to thank the teachers and administrators that are here because they were thrust into this three months ago and we had no clue as to to what we would be facing and i have to say that our teachers across this district have done an amazing job can we please give them a round of applause I am also so very grateful and thankful to the parents, the guardians, the brothers and the sisters who have also helped with the education of these seniors. And I know many of you also have brothers and sisters and, and siblings in the middle school and elementary school. And, and you also should be commended because you had no idea also what was in front of you. And for that, we are very, very grateful for the partnership that we've had over the last three months, obviously over the last 12 years, but in particular, these three months have been trying for all of us. However, I think Brentwood has been exceptional, and that is in large part because of the students, but also because of the families who really have done an outstanding job in getting us through these last few months. So can we please give another round of applause for these great parents and graduates. You know, I've always, I've been in Brentwood for over 20 years, and there's not a day that goes by that I don't feel blessed to be a part of this fabulous community. And I have to say, I, I think we are extremely blessed. The weather has passed us. We've, this is our eighth graduation, and we have dodged a bullet every single time and i have to point out i don't know if it's still there but is there a rainbow i can't see it so i don't know folks but brentwood is certainly blessed it is two nights in a row that we've had rainbows i don't know that's pretty cool what's that oh okay all right well i actually have a job to do here so i'm going to do that right now uh we uh we're, we're going to honor the the advanced regions diploma with honors okay oh that's terrific i used to be able to do this as principal so i'm going to be able to do this now this is absolutely a, a tremendous honor and thank you mr callen for, for letting me do this could i ask every student who has received the advanced regions diploma with honors could you please stand and be recognized I know there has to be a few here. All right, terrific. You should know, ladies and gentlemen, the reason they should be celebrated is because these students received a 90 or better on every single regions they took. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. So I have a few words I'm just going to, to read here. And before I do, however, I have one more thing I want to say to, to the parents. And, and uh, I have to say that each of, each of us have traveled a unique path to get here. And, and we recognize that. No family, no student travels, the, uh, their, travels through their school career in much the same way. 
So we, we really do appreciate every parent who has put the time and love and commitment because we are here because of your, your energy, your influence, and your passion for your sons and daughters. And again, we are very, very grateful for that. So truly, no class in our school's history has faced a challenge like the one you have just overcome. What was to be the last few months of your senior year, a wonderful time marked by memories and celebration was taken from you in an instant. The school where you learned, grew, and made connections that will last a lifetime, unfortunately, was closed down. But I guarantee you this, ladies and gentlemen, those friendships that you have now will certainly last a lifetime. But rather than retreating into isolation, you embraced education. You forged connections through digital spaces and made something truly special out of the end of your high school career. What you have accomplished in the face of adversity is nothing short of remarkable. And the class of 2020 will be synonymous with perseverance and toughness for generations of students to come. It's not just the last few months, of course. Every day for the last 12 years, each and every one of you have made us all proud with your passion to learn, reflect, improve, and explore. Given all that you have accomplished, it shouldn't come as a surprise that even a global pandemic could not stop you and your friends from learning, connecting, and achieving. I stand here to today forever impressed with the class of 2020, and I, along with everyone else in the Brentwood family, will wait with bated breath to see what incredible milestones you will accomplish next. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, and in closing, I would like to wish each and every graduate peace, happiness, and many successes, and please know that we will always, always be united through our Brentwood experiences. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually not leaving the stage just yet because I get to do my favorite job as superintendent. I'm going to read a few words in just a few moments, and at the conclusion of those words, you will officially be Brentwood High School graduates. Could I please ask every graduate to please rise right in front of their seats? With the necessary certification put forth by Mr. John Callen, Brentwood High School principal, that all graduating students have satisfied parts 100.5 and 100.6 of the regulations established by the Commissioner of Education. These regulations list all requirements needed to qualify for a high school diploma. I, as superintendent of schools and by the authority vested in my office, by the laws of the state of New York, and by the rules and regulations of the Commissioner of Education and the Brentwood Union Free School District Board of Education, do here and now proudly present for graduation to our Board of Education and the entire Brentwood community, the Brentwood High School Class of 2020. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, folks. You, you may be seated. Okay, now the uh, part that we all look forward to. It's the conferring of the diplomas. So the first row, all the students can stand in the first row. Thank you. Head over to there. Mr. Amato, please raise your hand so they know where to head. And he's right there. But okay, and we'll do this row by row. Students, when you come up, you can take your mask off to take the picture on the stage. So you would stand on the blue X. 
get your casement, come over here on this side, stand in front of the photographer without your mask on to take your picture. And then you walk down the stairs over to get your diploma, which is over at that Brentwood pen over there. Okay? And that's what everyone out here in the next couple of rows will do until we complete this part of the ceremony. And with that, we will commence the calling of the name. Sound check. Ruben Alfredo Minacho. Erica Alexandra Mendez. Jennifer Sarai Mendez. Melvin Denilson Mendez. <laughs> Kathy Alicia Mendez Amaya. <laughs> Stephanie C. Mendez Chavez. Christian Renee Mendoza. Gabriela Mendoza Yanez. Gabriela Maria Menendez. Carissa Michael. Derek Joseph Molina. Marvin J. Molina. Karen Lisbeth Molina. Connor James Mooney. Kaylani Lenora Moore. <laughs> Elsie Morales. <laughs> Kayla Melissa Morales. Emily Margarita Morales. <laughs> Crystal Moran. <laughs> Rosemary Noemi Moran.
Stephen Moran Portillo. Cynthia Moreno. Cynthia A. Moreno. Emily Denise Moldy. Cynthia Moya Maldonado. Mariano Rafael Munoz. Stephanie Nicole Munoz. Fatima Nicasio. Maya Acasio. Irvin O. Ochoa. Brian Alexander Orleana. Junior Orleana. William A. Orleana. Jose David Ortega. Leslie Ortiz. Catherine Michelle Pat Pacho. Glenn Junior Palacios. Jose O. Palacios Granados. Rick Darren Palomino, Sonderling Top 10. Selena Paredes. Franklin Paz. Rachel D. Pasmino. Nicholas R. Pilar.
Kayla Pena. Kayla Pennelberg. Emmanuel Peralta. Keisha Peralta. Jasmine Marilyn Pereira. Emily Rachel Perez. Joshua Jeremiah Perez. Joshua Perez. Doris Marisol Perez Tozio. Eric A. Pineda. Sophia Plucharczyk, Sondling Academic Top 10 and recipient of the Attorney General Triple C Award. Daniela Michelle Ponce. Anthony Brian Portillo, Sondling Academic Top 10 and recipient of the Brentwood High School Inspirational Award. Jason Alberto Portillo. Ronald Josue Portillo. Catherine Pereira. Atari Quavedo. Desiree Quinones. Giovanni Alcidanus Quintanilla. Edgar Jose Quintanilla Portillo. Daniela Ramirez. Jason Alexander Ramirez.
Mauricio Aldair Ramirez. Rimberto M. Ramirez. Juan Martin Ramirez Espinal. Justin Taylor Ramos. Melvin Ramos. Melanie Yanaria Ramos Fernandez. Fatima Sarai Ramos Romero. Ziamara Ramos Guevara. Darian Jamel Radigan. Melissa Ramundo. Deron R. Regesti. Carlos P. Reynoso. Ismael Reyes. Catherine Reyes. Nathalia Reyes. Nevin Adriel Reyes. Tanya Giselle Reyes. Nilsa Lisbeth Reyes Mejia. Henry Richardson. Aileen Rios. Angelina Taylor Rivera. Brian A. Rivera. Lady Rivera. Ubenice Fernando Rivera.
John Eduardo Robolino, United States Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award. Camilla Renata Marin Jordan. Isaiah Angelo Rodriguez. Matthew Restituto. Angelica Romero. Thomas Vincent Ethier. Sean Michael Keane. And there we have it, your class of 2020. Let's give it up for all the graduates here. It's always a special moment, and I hope you captured many good pictures as your child walked across the stage here. Um, we're going to start to uh, wrap it up for the evening. So I was hoping that I could get the graduates, the class of 2020, those students, to stand one last time. This is one of my favorite parts of the evening. You need that. You should have your mortar on. Okay. And officially now, you get to take part in this ceremony, which will now make you part of the Brentwood alumni. You can move your tassel from right to left. And that signifies that you are now graduated and you are a part of the large and proud family of Brentwood alumni. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You make us so proud. You should be very proud of yourselves, parents. You should be very proud of your graduates. I'm sure that you are. So with that, that concludes our ceremony this evening. Thank you for being patient with us uh, while we got this field together after that downpour. So we thank you for that patience. And I once again want to congratulate these great students and this great class. So with that, be well, stay safe, and we look to see you in the future. And we will dismiss back row out the back, row by row. The front row will go out the front here, and that's how we'll dismiss orderly. You cannot unfortunately take pictures on the campus so we need you to move out any pictures have to be taken off campus um that's just part of the safety protocols okay good evening every have a good evening everybody
much for the rose on that one. Huh? So much for the rose on that one. Well, we beat the rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly it's like a dream and a man. Look at the past, be a shadow, now the flowers round. 